Paleo 200, Robin talks about fossils. Let's find out about fossilization processes from Robin. Can you explain permineralization, replacement, carbonization, and resin encasement? Uh, so these are all different kinds of fossil uh, processes that uh, make fossils. Uh, so different ways that a plant or an animal or something organic can be preserved in the fossil record. Uh, so permineralization is one of the most common things, especially for uh, fossil bones of things like dinosaurs. Um, and that's basically when uh, the bones are buried and they're covered in sediments and groundwater uh, flows through and uh, there's lots of minerals in the groundwater. And basically those minerals um, stick onto the, onto the uh, bone. So they precipitate out the same way that you get um, kind of calcium deposits on your sink or on your uh, shower head. Um, the, the minerals slowly deposit um, inside the bone and they basically fill it all up and completely solidify it until it becomes a rock, basically. Um, and for something like um, replacement, uh, replacement is, is similar to permineralization, but you can think of it more as a, a wholesale um, uh, a wholesale switch of, of, of materials. So the original bone material is basically completely uh, either dissolved away or it rots away, leaving a cavity, and basically that space is filled in completely with another mineral. So it could be a, a solid chunk of quartz or something like that. Um, there are instances where you get bones preserved completely in opal or, or other, other materials um, from replacement processes. Um, carbonization um, is basically a process where organic material, usually plant material, but sometimes animal material as well, <clears throat> gets compressed between layers of sediment, so layers of mud or sand, and the organic content, or the carbon content, basically gets um, squished um, really, really thin and is left kind of as a, a smear. So it's almost like um, almost like you drew it on with like some charcoal or something. But it's basically sort of the original um, carbon content of, of that material, so the plant frond or the leaf um, that's uh, compressed between these layers and left behind as a sort of black shape that records the, the, um, the plant leaf or, or whatever it is. And then resin encasement is basically uh, something gets preserved in plant sap. Uh, so just like today, plants of the past had sap and sometimes if they were damaged, they were, the sap would run. And just like today, uh, lots of stuff can get stuck in that st sticky substance. So um, little bits of plant material again, seeds, pollen, or animals as well, insects, um, even small, uh, small vertebrates, like small um, lizards and stuff like that. Uh, so when these things get trapped in the uh, sap, and then that sap gets preserved again between layers of sediments, it can be um, transformed through fossilization into amber, and those things can be actually preserved inside that amber for us to see.